hello everyone welcome to my channel today i will try to fix hp probook 440 g3 laptop not turning on as you can see i connect adapter but charging white led is not glowing i press the power button but it's not turning on so let's try to fix it Please subscribe, press the bell icon. This is the motherboard number X61. So first I will remove this plastic cover. Then I will check if any liquid damage or burning sign in this motherboard. So let's check. Okay no burning sign or liquid damage let's check other side so remove this ram now I remove wi-fi module then i remove this heat sink I will check also this side if any liquid damage or burning sign that's why I remove I need to remove this plastic protector always always i check all the motherboard first i check if any physical damage like liquid damage burning sign then i check all the voltage step by step so this side also clear no liquid damage or burning sign so at first i will check 18.5 volt for this motherboard So I connect adapter as you can see it's still not glowing white LED now I set my multimeter DC mode I 
and now I will check 18.5 volt in DC port as you can see 18 volt is present here then I will check this MOSFET here should be 18.5 volt is present okay it's zero no voltage is available here so now I will check this gate voltage okay gate also zero so in this case this MOSFET can be bad motherboard 18 volt line can be short to ground so first I will check if there is any short or not okay as you can see this motherboard is fully short to ground 18.5 volt line short to ground so now I will show you how to find short component any motherboard with this little wire you need you just need this kind of little wire and shoulder it to positive line I mean 18.5 volt line this is the very easy and fast way as you can see I connect this positive now I will inject voltage from my DC power supply So I set 3 volt it's enough to find out any short component so ground ground to ground and positive to positive as you can see this motherboard taking ampere so let's find out which parts is short okay we already find out as you can see this capacitor is this capacitor too much heat as you can see so I just remove this capacitor with my tweezer because this capacitor is too much heat and this capacitor is 18.5 volt filter capacitor so this capacitor fully shot to ground so i don't need any hot air gun or soldering iron i just remove this capacitor with my tweezer no ampere is taking now so I remove this power supply cable and this wire now I will show you as you can see this charging white LED is glowing let's check there is voltage available or not okay 18 volt is present now let's check the gate voltage gate also present so we successfully find out the short component in this motherboard and this way you can find out any short component from any motherboard this is very easy and fast way so now I will check the display is ok or not so I connect this LVDS cable connect the adapter let's try to turning on this motherboard okay it's turning on display also okay so thank you guys if you like this video please don't forget like comment share and subscribe
Thanks again.